I'm Pete Gerlach. I'm the author of the Break the Cycle website that you may be looking at, or hope you do. I want in this brief video to introduce a fundamental concept in this website and in lesson one of the eight lessons that the website presents. This concept has to do with something that throughout the website is called Grown Wounded Children, GWCs. I would expect that you've never heard that term before. I'm responsible for it. Um, here's what it means. To understand GWC, start with the idea that families in every age and culture exist in order to nurture. The reason they exist is to fill the needs, to state the obvious, of their adults and children. Children who, for whatever reason, don't get their developmental needs met well enough, often enough, seem to automatically, as a survival ploy, develop up to six specific identifiable psychological traits or wounds. Briefly, they are these. The first and the keystone wound is developing what can be called personality splitting, minor to major. Most people don't have major, but most of us have minor personality splitting. One of the things that means is we develop something called a false self, which we rely on to guide us through various life situations up to adulthood and beyond. The alternative for people who are grown, nurtured children, who get their needs met well enough, is to develop and be guided by your, quote, true self who is a very wise, effective leader of your personality. So the first wound of six is having um, personality splitting and developing a false self without knowing it. This is all automatic. The second wound is excessive shame and excessive guilt. I lump those together because they feel the same. They're very different. It's a major wound. The third wound is excessive fears. Fear of the unknown, fear of failure, fear of isolation, fear of pain, fear of fear, fear of success. You know anybody that is, quote, fear-based? That's a sign of a false self and significant wounds. Another wound is significant reality distortion. That includes things like denial, idealization, minimizing, projecting, numbing, those are all types of reality distortion. People use them all the time. The next wound is to do with trust. We GWCs, for I am one, we either trust people or things too easily and we wind up getting hurt over and over again and thinking it's our fault, or we don't trust trustworthy people and situations which inhibits our lives. If we have all five of these wounds, the sixth one that can accrue is the most tragic, which is an inability to feel our feelings and or the inability to bond, to form healthy emotional attachments to other living things. Um, I don't know if you know such a person who is unable to bond the fall to survive in society, they have to pretend to bond. Um, a lot can be said about that. So, children who grow up without getting their needs met develop some mix of these six wounds. If no knowledgeable adult steps in to help them cure these and make their, their environment higher nurturance, young wounded kids grow into grown wounded kids, GWCs. By the time they're in their 20s and beyond, these wounds are well entrenched. Kids have uh, learned to adapt to them and have a number of coping strategies, so you really can't see the wounds in some people. In some, they're obvious. Well, what does this mean? If you're a GWC, it means several major things. The first it means is you are likely unconsciously to prefer other wounded people as mates, as friends, as co-workers, neighbors, and associates. 
You will do this repeatedly despite painful results like divorce, like arguments, like legal suits, like betrayals, like cutoffs. GWCs seek and prefer GWCs. The second thing it means is if you have a GWC partner and you and he or she uh, conceive or adopt kids, you're likely to recreate a low nurturance environment against your will and wound your children and pass on the ignorance that goes along with these wounds. A third major thing, if you're a GDC, it means that your life will be filled with a great deal of stress. Relationships, health, work, money, sometimes spiritual issues. GWCs live with a great deal of stress and frequently they don't know why it happens or what to do about it. The extension of that is GWCs may encounter there's not much research on this, but some. It's possible the GWCs are more prone to illness and premature death than grown, nurtured children. So being a GWC is a serious issue. Lesson number one in this website will show you clearly, specifically, how to determine if you or someone you care about is a GWC. More importantly, it will also show you, if you are a GDC, how can you identify your wounds and reduce them? That's the whole point of lesson number one. I would expect you to be startled or skeptical about this concept. I urge you, uh, for your sake and in, in the sake of any descendants that you may cause or generate, study lesson one in this Nonprofit free online course at the Break the Cycle website. I urge you to do that. If you do, and you have any feedback, questions, comments, criticisms, every web page in Lesson 1 and throughout the website has a link at the bottom which says Contact. Click that link. You can leave your feedback. I will read it and get it. And if it's useful, you can contact me directly. I appreciate your time and attention here. I really hope that you'll try out lesson one. Thanks.